Oh, actually, we could... You know, <laughs> get attacked by a dog. Let's walk. <laughs> Let's walk. Oh, look at my weird finger there. <laughs> we, we can make it happen. We can make it 10 metres if we wish. This is a wonderful demonstration. I'm feeling lucky. Okay, good morning everybody. A little bit of a special episode today. Um, I'm in Sheffield, uh, of all places. I actually lived in a house down there for most of my life. So since moving to Bristol, I've spent a lot of time there, a bit of time traveling. But now I'm back home and I'm meeting up with someone who I have been chatting to a little bit on Instagram. He takes some awesome photos and does some pretty sweet looking film work. So I think today it would normally be a wildlife wonder, but we're not in the Bristol area, so that's out. I think we might try and do a 10 meter walk if I can persuade him to get involved. The great thing about where I lived um, which I didn't really exploit as a child was how close and proximal I was to some incredible woodland like this one that I'm walking through now. And this is just three minutes from my house. Fun fact, until they started destroying all the trees, the famous tree purge of Sheffield, it actually had the highest ratio of trees per people in Europe. I now believe that's overtaken by Berlin since Sheffield slashed half of its roadside trees rather brutally. Be back with you when I meet up with Jack. And also I've got the wrong shoes because I just came up. Didn't expect to do big hikes or anything so wrong shoes again. Story of my life. northern up here than it is in Bristol. Right, so I'm in the woods with Jack right now and um, let me just angle this up a bit. We've just seen, I knew there were kingfishers here because I'd seen a flash of one back in like 2014 but uh, we've just seen one for, for good and it's gone flying down the river so we're definitely going to pursue it in, in a in a ethical manner. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the first Jack said he's been looking for a kingfisher along here for a while, so uh, we've seen one and we're going to see if we can get some shots maybe. Might be quite difficult because we are like approaching it rather than them coming to us, but we will see how we do. Can you see it? Have we scared it? but I'm hoping we haven't scared it. <laughs> There's a heron in a tree, we might have to go and film that. Basically, we've only got to this point so far because we saw kingfishers and um, failed to film them. So the kingfishers you will have seen in Eastville in maybe some of the other series, they're way more accustomed to people because it's a public park. Yeah, we were able to get really close to those ones. These ones where not many people come down here, do they? No, not really, not, not on this stretch anyway. It's a bit of a mission to get to it. So you just basically can't get as close to them. They're way more skittish. How about you take it? Take the set I'll oh, take yours. That's it, now I run. This is this is quite a comfortable setup actually. But yeah I'm I'm Jack. I'm wildlife photographer, filmmaker from Sheffield. In my summer seasons I quite often do some filming work. Places like Madagascar, Fiji, Borneo, Indonesia. This year I had some plans but obviously that has all gone downhill. Um, Stupid. But hopefully at some point I'll be going, I was meant to be going to Romania this summer um, and my aim is to try and find some nice bears. Huh. I'd like to film some bears. Hey, I'm doing bear filming for the next two years. Well, there we go. Oh, Maybe we'll film some bears, bears together. I dream about them as well, bloody hell. Don't I'm all, always dreaming about bears. And yeah, that's kind of that's me. So during lockdown, I've been filming some stuff close to home in Sheffield. And obviously Matt's migrated down south, but he knows his roots are up here, so it's nice to actually meet back up north in the homelands. I have got a little series called Wildlife Close to Home, which I started um, basically, as it says, 
on the tin. Uh, broke my lens, missed all of the fledglings. <laughs> I had five woodpecker nests, missed all of them fledge. Um, and then since then, I've been writing a beginner's wildlife photography workshop. Oh, can so. people subscribe to your wildlife beginner's photography workshop? Um, that is actually a very good question. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> Great marketing. I, I think essentially it's through a company called Operation Wallacea and I think essentially they're aiming it at school students between 15 and 18 who have missed out on work experience this year and things like that. Um, but if it goes well, which it will, um, then yeah, who knows, we might open it up to the broader, the broader public. We, we, saw, we saw kingfishers, which was great, so Jack's going to spend a little bit more time. If he gets a shot, because I'm not going to put this up for a few weeks, so if he gets a shot of the kingfishers, no pressure, before this goes <laughs> out, we will put footage, whatever, up up from, from Jack, because I'm going to head down to Bristol tonight. See. Oh yeah, and we were going to do a 10 metre walk, so Jack's going to do a photo series of 10 metre walk, something like that, maybe, we'll see. But um, I'll just do a 45 minute one. Yeah. And um, we'll see what we can find in a little, maybe around the bridge area or something like that. Then it will find up and come back. Sweet! So that's that. <laughs> Nearly had our first fall. I'm filming this just in case. Oh, makes it look easy. We just vaulted uh, the river quite precariously with lots of equipment and there's, there's simply a path on that side. But we're under the railway bridge. So this is gonna be a great spot to do a little 10 meter stint, see what we find. Jack, we're having some wildlife revelations, aren't we? What, are we, what have we discovered? Some may think that this is a barren land. <laughs> However, when you look closer, oh, you see things like this guy. This guy, pause, there we are, there he is. Muzzy of some sort. Um, oh, no. there's this guy. Oh, who's this? Some kind of little ant. It's just stationary. Just chilling. Oh, I've never seen an ant that's still. You got two on the, oh, you got three. Oh, I think I found an entrance to the nest. I have. Oh my <laughs> gosh. All there. Look at that! There's so many of that them. That is bloody fantastic. And then there's a spider somewhere. Oh, there, there he is. Just there, by the other side. So this is the absolute magic, dare I say, of 10 metre walks. My gosh, look at that! It's a harvestman thing. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Let's get a nice shot of that. What a guy. Ooh, what a guy. Basically, the 10 metres will be from the end of the path, which is, oh, look at my weird finger there. <laughs> what? Well, I know. <laughs> How do you do that? It's, it's just for some reason bent and I don't know why, but <laughs> from the end of that, to all the way down to the end here, really. And that is, I might be being a bit generous with 10 meters. <laughs> 10 meters, pretty much. All right then, that is it. Oh, well, flipping out, I can't see the button here. There we go, we're off. One hour-ish, let's go. Again, it looked, when we arrived, barren, there wasn't much stuff. Then Jack found all sorts. Kingfishers have evaded us today, but as I say, I'm, I've got a video in the bag to edit, and then this one, so if Jack gets anything prior, so we're gonna give him about two or three weeks, um, good luck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we might get some footage or photos of kingfishers to put in for you. But other than that, it was quite a difficult one to do in a way because there wasn't much specific wildlife. There was the odd grey wagtail that came past, but um, most, most of it was very small stuff. Uh, but it was just a nice sort of feel with the railway bridge and a river something a little bit different, quite urban, lots of graffiti, so it might be quite abstract, so prepare yourself for a video that's a little bit different. Anyway, but yeah, how, you, how did you find the photo story element of it? Uh, it was good, it was, it was weird because it took a few minutes before you kind of, you, you start to see things, yep. kind of, I think you instinctively start to look for bigger things, start looking on the river, 
and start trying to see what's around and then when you actually stop and stare at a wall for 30 seconds you actually see quite a bit. Yeah, got some good snaps, some interesting insects, a um, couple of creepy crawlies and stuff. So nice. We'll see, what, we'll see what happens. Awesome. So we'll have some snaps, we'll have a little photo montage yeah. and then we'll have the video. So I hope you enjoyed it and remember to check out Jack's YouTube and also any of his videos that he's doing Instagram, all of that malarkey. I'll put that all in the description and whatnot. Um, so check that out too. But yeah. Know. I might come down south and see you soon as well. Yeah, good idea. If you're ever in Bristol, let me know. Yeah, and on that, we'll, we'll close. So here's what Jack found on his photo wall. We start off with a lovely harvestman spider, really nice and bold against the white background, lovely shot. And there's some ants. I love the way the back one's out of focus and the front one's in focus. That's a mosquito. They're actually really beautiful up close, a lot less annoying when they're buzzing around your head at night. That's a grey white tail reflected just nicely against the water. And there's some moss. This could be my favourite shot. Very nice and isolated, picked out. Love the wood lice. They're actually beautiful creatures up close. And there's a snail. I really like, no, it's a slug. It's a slug. Uh, that's a beetle sitting on the leaf. Lovely and in focus again. There's a grey wagtail sitting with his side back. That's a little bit better. I like the way it's showing a bit of behaviour there in preening. Ooh, lovely contrast with the tail feathers, especially like that one. And that could be the best grey wagtail photo of the lot.
some footage of kingfish from Madagascar. Oh, <laughs> that's not quite yeah. kimchi. Yeah, well, we just do a really terrible, uh, like, Photoshop job. <laughs> we'll, we'll yeah, figure it out. we'll figure it out. <laughs> Here, who's got big legs?